friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are unboxing another Accio box. That's right. We are sponsored by Accio box, if you didn't know already. This means that uh, you can get some money off because I got a code. That's right. And the code is woo, um, magical family. This means that you guys get money off and I earn a little bit of money to help keep this magical channel running. So if you'd like to know what's in this box, I don't know the theme. Is it House Pride? It might be House Pride. Let's let's see. If you want to know what a theme it is, keep on watching. If you're brand new to, to her, sorry. If you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to be part of our weird magical online family. But let's go, because that was that was a messy intro. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay then, so here we have it, the Accio box for April, I believe. Let's open it on up because, uh, oh god, I should not be allowed sharp objects. There we go. We have gained access to the box. So we solemnly swear that there's good stuff inside. Let's see. Oh, we've got, we've got some house themed paper. I think this box is house pride, but I may be wrong, but I suspect just they've put house paper in. Might be right. Oh, everything's red. I think I might have to start off with these very jazzy glasses, which are soft touch. There we go. What more do you need in life than a pair of red sunglasses? How are these magical? Okay, there are. There is like a little one of the modern house emblems on the. Are these legs? Glasses, legs, never know what they're called. But there's a little house emblem there. So these are Gryffindor. Other than that though, just a pair of red sunnies, they're quite nice. Unfortunately, I'm one of these people that need help with their vision, even with sunglasses, so I may have to give those to an elf to take down to the charity shop because I do need to see as well. But if you're not visually impaired like I am, these are quite nice and summer is coming. Ooh, just seems something very exciting. And it's something that I have wanted to try for a while and it is wizard's magic now if you don't know already this chocolate i believe the company belongs to james and oliver phelps who played fred and george in the harry Potter films i think this is their chocolate brand so i've never i mean oh chocolate orange now we're talking like oranges are my thing it's like they knew so it says only one percent sugar which is strange for a chocolate. It's vegan friendly, gluten free, high in fiber. So it says Wizard's Magic orange chocolate and the packaging is 100% recyclable, which is what we like. Um, and yeah, this is the back. We've got some pretty gold foiling on there, which of course I'm a great big fan of. Um, so yeah, we've, it's cocoa solids, sweetener, um, essential oils. I mean, it's rude not to try it, right? Oh comes in gold. Oh, I can smell the orange. Oh, it actually smells really good. Okay, let's have a little look at what it looks like. It does just look like chocolate. There is a slight kind of, um, how would you r describe it? A, a kind of sh whiteness to it. It smells heavenly. Hmm. It tastes nice, but the consistency is very bizarre. It's like crunchy. It doesn't melt as much as your regular chocolate, but it's a good substitute. And if there's that little sugar in it, might be, oh, I'm gonna end up eating the whole bar. It's definitely different from normal chocolate. Keep that in mind if you're buying it, but if you are gluten intolerant or maybe lactose intolerant or you're vegan, maybe you don't want to eat many naughty treats with high sugar, this might be a really nice alternative to regular chocolate that you can buy in the supermarkets. But it does taste very orangey and it's just a little bit of fun really, a little bit of magic. Ooh, ooh, what is this? We've got a patch. This is quite cute, actually. This reminds me, I was gonna say it reminds me of a lion, which I guess is pretty good because Gryffindor, the mascot, is a lion. This is actually really nice. You can put it wherever you want. I don't think it is iron on. I think it's something that you're going to have to sew on yourself. You could put this onto a backpack, a denim jacket, perhaps. 
but it's quite nice. I'm not normally the biggest fan of this kind of stuff, but I quite like that. It's very well knitted at the back. Oh, I'm gonna have to find something to put that on. Let's see. Oh, we've got three more things. Okay, so firstly, socks. Now, you can never have enough socks. Big sock fan. Feel like I should be an elf or something. So here we have some Gryffindor socks. These are actually quite nice crew socks. They go up the ankle. I don't have any like this. I don't have many Gryffindor socks. I think I have one crimson pair, which I think I got from Primark. But these are quite pleasant. Quite like these. There's a little G for Gryffindor at the top and then there are two broomsticks that cross over so I guess they're kind of a little bit Quidditch captain socks maybe. Not sure I'd be a Quidditch captain. Let's see what else we have in here. I can see a t-shirt. I'm going to show you guys first. It's a black tee which are probably the more wearable ones. Is it good? Is it amazing? <laughs> Looks like a quote. So it says, no matter what house you're in, you are home. That's quite sweet. And then there's a little silhouette of Hogwarts. Is it one of Akio's best t-shirts that they've come out with? No. They have a habit of coming out with some of my favourite t-shirts. There's been the Weird Sisters tour tee, quite liked the night bus tee, the conductor tee that we had. There's been some owl post t-shirts that I've enjoyed as well. But yeah, it's a nice little simple t-shirt if you like wearing black, which to be honest, I do. So let's move on to the last... Ooh, no. Seven items, got a little sticker. We've got a vinyl sticker which says, Go Lions. It's um, a really nice, thick quality sticker. Is it transparent? I love transparent stickers just because I tend to, well, I used to put them on my laptop. This one is not, um, but it might be nice on like a little notebook or something. Yeah, I might put that on my guitar. That's where most of my stickers go to live. Let's see what the, so we've had one, two, three, four, five, six and this is the seventh item so we've had quite a lot in this box normally we get about five to six items in the Akio boxes this is a little drawstring bag so if we go wee there we go. These bags, honestly, just remind me of my PE kit from when I was in school. Because we always used to have like a little bag like this with our PE kit in. So our little shorts and polo top. Um, so this would be perfect if you have any young witches or wizards in your life. Is it a bag that I'm personally going to go out wearing? Probably not, but it's definitely on theme and it's definitely Gryffindor. I do quite like the illustration of the lion. I do think that is quite cute. But let's have a look at the cheat sheet. Okay, so this is the House Pride box. Now, I will say this theme has been covered quite often in a variety of subscription boxes. We've seen it before, so I feel as though it's quite hard to come out with fresh new ideas when it comes to House Pride. There's only so many things that you could do in certain colours. Maybe that's why personally this box hasn't been the strongest for me, but there are some nice items in here which I did enjoy, but let's look through the cheat sheet and we'll talk about them as we go. So it says, whether you're a badger, an eagle, a lion or a snake, your house is amazing and worthy of pride. This month we celebrate our four houses with a selection of gear themed around where the hat puts you. While also acknowledging what it takes all of us, the wise, the brave, the cunning and the loyal to come together and fight for what's right. Be proud and keep spreading the Lumos. So that's a very nice message. So first up, we have got the house mascot cotton backpack. This had a value of $12 and it says wear your pride on your sleeve or in this case on your back <laughs> with this sturdy all cotton drawstring bag featuring an illustration of your house mascot in front of a watercolour background in your house colours. It's perfect for carrying your favourite book to the beach. I mean I wish I had a beach near me. I would use this if there was a beach. Or bring it along for a quick trip to the store, made exclusively for Accio Box, so you won't find it anywhere but here. Then we had the House Shield sunglasses. So you would have got all of this in your own house colours. They actually have a little picture of the green sunglasses there for the snake house. So it says, keep the sun out of your eyes and show everyone where your loyalties are with these cute sunglasses in your house colours, featuring your animal mascot on the temples, designed in-house just for you. And these had a value of $10. So I have just noticed, I don't know if you can see just here along the top, 
So they are pretty marked, which is a little bit disappointing. I'm not going to lie, but let's move on. There's also a sticker. So this is the House Pride pennant sticker, and this had a value of $4. So it says, root for your favorite team on the pitch with this cute hand-drawn vinyl sticker design. Perfect for your computer, Yes, it is your water bottle or your favorite notebook. That's what I suggested. It's like we're on the same level. Another great Accio box exclusive. So I think all of these so far have been designed by Accio. Then on the back, we had the Wizard Sports striped socks. So yes, I think they were related to Quidditch. So it says these had a value of $12. What is that hair doing? Can you like control yourself? It says, we're not sure if you've heard of it, but there's this kind of popular sport in the magical world where people fly on broomsticks, chucking a big red ball around, hurtling a couple of smaller, harder balls at each other and trying to catch a fourth, really tiny golden ball with wings. If you're into that sort of thing, you might also enjoy these Akio exclusive sporty socks in your house colors. And yes, they do have all of the correct house colors, including for Ravenclaw. Then next up, we have got the varsity letter Chanel, Chenille, Chenile, don't know. It's whatever it's made out of, not, I'm not good with words. Uh, so it's a patch and it says, wouldn't it be neat if you could earn a varsity letter in a magical subjects and extracurricular activities just like you can in the non-magical world? Well, no, you can. Sport this patch on your favorite jacket and you'll feel like you've just graduated top of your magical class. Keep an eye out soon for some items in our shop to help you customize this patch to your own magical academic experience. That is curious. Made just for our subscribers, so you won't find these anywhere else but Accio, and this had a value of $7. Do actually really like this. We'll be finding somewhere cool to put it. I mean, I kind of want, you know what? I've got two Hogwarts robes. One of them is customized and it's been embroidered to say cherry and the other one's just plain, but I'm kind of tempted to make one of them like quite patch centric. So it's like magical patches. I don't know, maybe that could be done with this. Then we had the t-shirt, which was here. And this is the house unity tee. And this was designed by Lauren Fairweather. So it says, we're only as strong as we are united. So we wanted to finish off this box with a reminder that no matter where you are sorted or which common room you kick your feet up in, we hope everyone feels welcome and included in our castle. Great, great message. This adorable design was hand-drawn and lettered by artist and wizard rocker Lauren Fairweather and made just for Accio Box. See more of Lauren's artwork and check out her music. I'm gonna have to check out her music at laurenfairweather.com. I will link that down below in the description box if you'd like to check out Lauren yourself. So yeah, that was the House Pride Box, which was the Accio Box for April 2021. Something I have just noticed. The wizard's chocolate wasn't on the cheat sheet. I want to know more. Maybe it's on their website. I'll have to have a little look. I will leave information in the description box if they've, I don't know, is it meant to be in this box? Did it fall in? Did a, did an elf just mispack it? I'm not sure. My honest overall thoughts on this were, we've seen this theme a lot, <laughs> or at least I have over the years. Is it nice if you're not getting these boxes as perhaps often as I do? Yeah, if you've never received a house pride box, I think this is a really nice starter box for that kind of thing. Things that I really enjoyed were obviously the patch. I do think that's really nice and can find a home for it. Am I going to use the socks? Yes, I am. The chocolate I enjoyed just because I have been curious about how this chocolate is and kind of like the novelty of it being wizard's magic chocolate i suppose and it did taste very orangey i was a little bit let down with the sunglasses they don't really feel that magical it's just a pair of sunglasses and they were pretty badly marked t-shirt their, their t-shirts are good quality but the design just personally wasn't hitting it for me this month and the bag was nice but i don't really need another backpack so for me personally this box was a little bit of a miss but that's fine because you can't like every single box or item that comes your way that's the whole point in mystery boxes some things you gotta love some things you're not gonna really enjoy but i guess that's where some of the fun comes in but either way i would love to know your thoughts do you think this box was strong was it 
quiet week. What would you have put in a house pride box? What would be like your dream house pride item? I would love to know. So leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to check some of those out and reply to them. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a magical thumbs up. This does help. It makes me want to make more. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Hope you're all doing really well.